Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Double T Lofts. Uh, just getting back to another video, beginning of the new year. Hope everyone had a good start to the new year. This is just a little uh, update video on what uh, what I plan to do within the future, near future. You can see here I put wire instead of the boards. It's a lot easier when they take a bath out there. Um, this building I'm standing in right now, I'm going to clean it. Actually, I have it planned out that this building that I actually have that I keep my feet in. Give me a second to get over there. This building here, we actually, I'm going to clean it out. I got all that stuff in here. We're going to clean this all out, and I'm going to turn this into my breeding loft now. And, uh get all my birds breeding up we're getting a new building so i can put all my feed and all my supplies we're getting a building i think we're probably gonna put it over there but i don't know yet um but yeah i'm gonna turn this into my new breeders loft come in and put plywood on the floor so i can scrape it real nice i'm probably gonna set these cages up i know my grandpa uh he has a couple shelving a uh, couple shelves that i may turn into breeding boxes but uh, for now, to at least get a start, I'm going to put these back up and uh, start breeding out of them. But my plans are, I'm probably going to put a, cut a hole up there to put wire across it so I can get better ventilation. And I may even put one right here above this door. But uh, I planned, I had planned on building a new loft here. It was only just going to be a little four by eight across. But... I talked my parents into giving me this other building, so I have that all cleaned up. But this right here is on the back side of the building that we were just in. And uh, I'm probably gonna cut a hole right here. This is where I used to have my birds when I first started. And uh, I'm probably gonna cut a, cut a hole right there and make this their aviary here because uh, I put new wire on it. Here, uh, last year I had problems with snakes. And so I put wire, wire up new wire up everywhere and so this would be good to get all the breeders out and let them get out here in the in the air and uh, get some airflow through let me see if i can close this back up and uh these are the boards that i pulled off i ended up taking this here and put the latch over here and i'm gonna have this set here i'm probably gonna take a a board let me get this locked back up I'm probably going to take a board or something to put across here because uh, I don't want it to hang down too low. So this would be the new platform that they'll land on. But this is the new wire that I put in. Let's see if I can get it focused. It is a little bowed in the middle, but I mean, it does what I need it to do. It makes it, I don't know if y'all uh, returning viewers remember, but there would used to be pieces of wood right there in front of the bob trap that they would have top up on to go through. And so I put this wire in there to get it so that they can, it's just smooth all the way through and they'll trap a lot better. But I think I'm gonna do a window like that on this other building similar to it to get uh, airflow in. And I may even do one, like I got a little air vent down there. It works real good to pull air through and down. I'm probably gonna do that. And well, obviously there's gonna be a hole right in here to where I'll have my uh, aviary here. And so this build is the same size as the other one. So I'm gonna have lots of room. I'm gonna make the other one. I'm gonna make this building over here strictly just a young bird loft. Since I have uh, the bobs and everything set up for it. I'm getting a new, I ordered some new grit and some 2023 rings for this year. And um, I got a new water too to go on the breeders. Don't mind the mess right now, I need to clean it. But uh, I got all these birds. I think I'm gonna try to breed from almost all of them, if not all of them. Um, I know for sure these Gannis, Jansons, and uh, my Beckert, I'm definitely gonna breed from. Cause I'm gonna send some birds off to, I'm probably gonna send them to um, Dash for Cash, just cause I don't have a whole lot of money that I can spend on uh, entry fees. And Dash for Cash is pretty cheap to get into, and there's still quite a few birds to enter in, so it should be a pretty good, pretty good test on my birds. Um, 
I'm really glad to get some birds out there and uh, get them racing so I can see what quality they are. Um, I plan to build, these are all one befores. I plan to build, I don't know if you watch like Manny Lofts or um, Robson Family Racing Pigeon may have them too. It's like big squares, or not big squares, but it's like squares uh, meant for young birds. I'm probably gonna pull these down and put them up in the other building and then build the square ones in here for the young birds and see if I can fit two across here. And then I may even put some up on this wall here um, just so I can fit even more young birds in. But I'm hoping that I'll have right around uh, 12 breeding pairs. Um, if I don't get that many, that's fine. But I know I definitely have uh, a group of six that are definitely uh, quality that I wanna breed. And so, Right now, here in Texas, I don't know, you probably could tell I wasn't in a long sleeve or nothing. I think it's uh, almost 80 degrees here. It's January 2nd. So, we've had a warm spell. And uh, so, I may get the bath out and get the birds in there in the bath a little bit since it's warmed up enough. But, uh, yeah, that's just a little update video what the future holds here. Um be looking for a video within the next couple of weeks of me cleaning out the other building and get it all situated. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. And uh, if you're nice enough, leave some comments below and I'll see you guys next time.